to be a triumph. <laughs> Almost all of London joins us. I would not have supposed it so popular. Come, shake off this gravity. With so many men of consequence, any one of tonight's company could prove prospector. We could even dare to dream of escaping our debt to Eliza. Arthur, the ball must be cancelled. The shopkeepers say they will not supply us, not until the army's debts have been paid. But they are even now delivering supplies. No. They are taking them away. It has been weeks since your last letter. And I cannot account for your silence. I beg you to put my mind at rest. I'm taking Dr. Fuchs's tincture to make me stronger, so I can be the woman you deserve. Please send word that all is well. That you have not forgotten your loving wife. I cannot stay here, Charlotte. I was willing to give him my heart, my life, and in return, I almost drowned on account of his lies. My mind is made up, I leave tomorrow. What is left for me here? Your sister, for one thing. My sister, the governess who I never see. But return with me. You cannot wish to work a moment longer for Mr. Colburn, given how he spoke to you. I have a responsibility to the girls. At least come to the ball. If it is to be our last night. So the whole town can laugh at my folly. And he will be there. Alice. Whatever pain you feel now, and time will pass, the heart is more resilient than you think. Indeed. I believe your own heart is all but healed. That is why you wish to stay in Sanderson. It is not for the sake of the job or for the girls. It is for him. For whom? You cannot hide it from your sister. I'm not trying to hide anything. Unlike Captain Carter, Colonel Lennox is a good man. One of us deserves to find happiness. <laughs> <laughs>